Hi, I'm Tom Matisse, an executive director here at Timberly. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for your prayers and your words of encouragement during this uh, difficult time of COVID-19. And as we've been processing here at camp and working through uh, what God would have us to do. So thank you very much for all your support uh, in those areas. And after much prayer and thought and meeting and working through scenarios, we have decided to step out in faith and we are going to have summer camp here at Timber Lee, uh, should God provide us that opportunity. And here's what I mean by that. We are uh, hoping that the restrictions will be lifted in time for us to start a uh, deviated or an abbreviated form of summer camp this year. Uh, we are going to work with all local, state, and national authorities and uh, their, their entities to make sure that we are following all the rules and regulations that are put in place. Uh, but we are going to move forward in faith, and uh, we are looking to start summer camp on July 5th. Now, what that means is it's a little bit of an abbreviated year for us. Um, those plans could change should the uh, local, state, and national authorities decide not to lift the uh, gathering bans or some of the some of the sanitation issues. But uh, in just a few minutes, uh, our director of health and safety, Dave, is going to be speaking to you about some of the uh, things we put in place as far as safety goes. So when you do get to camp, uh, you can know that you'll have the safest experience possible here. Also along those lines. Um, our director of REC, uh, Nate's going to be coming in just a few minutes to talk to you about uh, what that's going to look like from a from a recreation perspective. Uh, obviously, some things are going to change with social distancing and different pieces. So uh, we're going to try and plan the best, absolute, uh, funnest time you can have here at Timberley. And Nate's going to talk a little bit about uh, along those lines what that's going to possibly look like for us. And then Isaac is going to come uh, talk to you about what this means for our gathering as far as worship and chapel and uh, how we are going to be meeting together during this time of social distancing and um, and ministering to you and helping you build up in your faith in Christ. Because ultimately we know that that's uh, what we do here at Timberly and we know that that's one of the main reasons you come here. You know, time and time again, I've heard uh, people contact us saying they come because they love the time here. They love to have fun. They love to engage with their friends and, and the counselors and the staff. And I can say that we love that probably as much or more than you all do. But we know ultimately that um, you come here because uh, you want to deepen your faith in Christ. So that's our main goal as well. So with that being said, again, I want to reiterate, uh, please be in prayer for us. Even over this next month, we have decisions to make uh, should the government not lift those bans, uh, we're going to have to make some uh, decisions along those lines of what that would look like to even start camp on July 5th. But currently, we want you to know that we are shooting for July 5th. We are trusting that God is going to allow us to do that. The staff is preparing. We are praying. We are getting ready uh, to have you here to have an enjoyable and fun time this year at Timberlee. So we look forward to having you here. God bless. Hi everyone, my name is Dave Proetz and I'm Camp's Director of Operations and Health Services. And um, yeah, we've uh, been plowing through COVID-19, a lot of uh, data and a lot of information, um, you know, and as we've been thinking of summer uh, and planning ahead, you know, I know uh, especially in this era of COVID-19, the, uh, the phrase or statement, you know, the health and welfare and safety of our campers and guests is our highest priority. And uh, that's still very true uh, and uh, guides all of the decisions that we're making, the actions that we're taking. Uh, and uh, as a um, Timberly staffer and a parent of uh, Timberly campers, um, it's uh, it drives everything we do. Um, so, uh, and you know, this is a challenging time. It's challenging for camp. It's challenging for many of you uh, out there. Uh, one of the things that we're grappling with is, um, you know, in this post COVID-19 world is uh, the impact on camp and uh, especially the community aspect of camp uh, and the preservation of uh, that aspect of the camp experience. Uh, so some of the things that are taking place from the health services side, uh, we continue to monitor and stay abreast of all the information and data that's coming out 
from our healthcare partners at the uh, local, state, and federal levels. Uh, we're also very appreciative of the guidance and input that we've been getting on a very regular basis from CAMP's physician, uh, Dr. Kevin Dahlman, who's the medical director for Aurora Ch Children's Health. Uh, so uh, we really probably couldn't do what we're doing uh, without his uh, guidance. It's been very helpful. Um, if I went into detail uh, of all of the things that we've either done or are planning on doing uh, in response to COVID-19 and the challenges that it creates, uh, I would probably need an hour-long video just for myself. But just uh, uh, in a nutshell, some of the things that we're looking at, just so uh, you're aware that um, you know we're, we're actively working, even though we don't have guests on ground, um, many of us have been very busy during this time uh, preparing for the season when we are open again and can have you on our grounds once more. Um, we're examining our uh, drop-off and pickup uh, procedures uh, for campers uh, in ways that help reduce uh, numbers and uh, facilitates distancing. Uh, we're looking at our check-in process and any screening that's possible, so don't be surprised when you show up on Sunday and you see a bunch of health services staff with thermometers uh, taking temperatures. Uh, we have already made changes in our dining hall and in our food service department. Um, gone are the days of buffet style and everyone touching those tongs and everything else. Uh, so you'll see a, a cafeteria style model uh, and increased spacing in our dining halls. Uh, our housekeeping and uh, accommodations department uh, already have uh, extremely high standards when it comes to cleaning and sanitizing of uh, community areas and, and, uh, and all that. And that's actually increasing uh, in its frequency and uh, especially focusing on contact surfaces in the cabins and in other public areas. Um, our health services department is also seeing some uh, pretty substantial changes. Uh, we uh, are increasing the level of personal protective equipment for all of our health services staff. Uh, and another major change is the entire structure of the Holly House building, which used to include our health services office, uh, but also some cabins uh, and things. That entire building has been designated for health services use. So we've got a little more room uh, to, again, facilitate distancing of folks that visit the health center but we have also dramatically increased our ability to isolate campers if necessary. Uh, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, so uh, as we get closer to summer, uh, any uh, health information that you need to know uh, will either be included in your parent packet when it's sent to you, uh, or if necessary, it will be sent as a separate piece. But either way, um, you know, we're continuing to monitor the information that comes out there and adjusting is appropriate, uh, so we will keep you in the loop uh, as needed. But uh, the bottom line is we're looking forward to having you back because uh, that's camp is community and uh, your absence is especially noted at this time. So uh, we're looking forward to opening our doors again and hearing the campers uh, in our uh, various areas and um, laughing and enjoying their camp experience. So thanks. Hello everyone. Yeah, my name is Nate. I'm the Director of Recreation here at Camp Chamberlain. I wanted to give you guys an update on just what we're doing with activities here because there's a lot of concern about uh, just cleaning and what this can look like for your campers and stuff like that. I uh, just so wanted to give you guys an update on just what we're planning on doing. We still want to provide that dynamic camp experience for your camper um, and for our staff that are going to be here. We understand that with the uh, COVID-19, the world we live in now, there's probably going to be a lot more cleaning and just things we're going to have to change this summer. Um, and my team has already been working very hard at that, trying to figure out, uh, looking at industry standards, uh, and figure out what we're gonna have to, how we're gonna have to clean and what we're gonna have to clean. Um, stuff like our helmets at the high ropes and zip line, are we gonna have to clean those between each camper, are we gonna once a day, um, all that kind of stuff. So they're working very hard already to figure out what that's gonna look like. Um, as well as our big camp games. You know, we, we wanna have all the campers together playing those big games and looking to see if that's gonna be a, a wise decision or not with the regulations that might be in place. So trying to come up with a, all these alternatives and different um, things that we might have to be doing here. So, um, but yeah, be rest assured that we are looking at all those, those state and federal guidelines. We're talking to aqu aquatic professionals, rope professionals, um, equestrian professionals, 
all the different people. I know uh, I've been on a number of phone calls and meetings already trying to figure this out. So it's uh, definitely a challenge, but I know my staff is up to the task. Um, so we want your campers here. We want them to have a great experience. So we uh, thank you for your prayer and your support during this time. Um, it's definitely been felt on the leadership teams. Uh, like Tom said earlier, we've been having those conversations and uh, those meetings that we never thought we'd have to have dealing with a pandemic. Um, and your prayers are definitely felt, and we thank you for that. So we look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday and having your campers here for a week of camp. God bless. My name is Isaac, and I'm the Youth Ministries Director here at Camp Kimberly, and I have the easy job. You heard from uh, Tom about our new schedule for the summer. You heard from Dave about the changes in making health services, what that's going to look like, from Nate about the challenges in recreation. I'm excited to share that our mission stays the same, which is to create engaging communities where each young person encounters Christ through a dynamic camp experience. That's our, really our heart for this summer. We want you to come here, feel the love of God, allow our counselors and village leaders and worship team to be the hands and feet of Jesus as we just uh, get to celebrate in community what it means to be followers of Christ. So know that while there's going to be lots of different things this summer, it might look a little different, feel a little different, the, the truth is the gospel is always the same now and forever. We get to celebrate that this summer. So we hope that you'll join us now that we're bringing in amazing speakers, great worship, and we want to celebrate who God is with you. Our theme this summer is about image. What it means to be made in the image of our creator. And so we're going to talk about that. We're going to celebrate that. And we're going to come together in, in amazing ways. So, so while camp might look a little different this summer, and our schedule is a little shorter than we'd like it to be. The truth is, we're, we hope you come and experience the truth of the gospel, the love that God has for you, and the joy that comes from being part of the family of God. Hope to see you this summer. Thanks.